welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a while when it comes to speed building, but here I am with another speed build. So today I have a family or a Tudor family home. Yes, that's what I named it. God, like I just made the thumbnail like I don't even like 10 minutes ago and I totally forgot what I called this. Oh my God, it's so bad. Uh, anyways, so yes, yeah, so I know I haven't been building in a while. I'm actually kind of rusty like really rusty. Um, if you notice, if you're sub to my channel, I'm sure you've noticed that I haven't actually uploaded a build in quite a while. I've mostly just been doing my LP, which you guys, I feel like it's like the best LP I have ever done. Of course, it's my first LP, so I guess I'm biased, but I feel like it's coming out really well. It looks like that some people really like it, and that makes me so happy. Like, oh my gosh. Anyways, so yeah, so uh, last night at work, I was sitting there thinking like, okay, well, you know, I can't just be uploading my LP all the freaking time. Like, I need to upload other things too. Because in the beginning, you know, when I started this channel, I was always posting builds because builds is what I do. And, you know, I mean, I'm not the best at making builds, but I like my builds. They make me happy. So, you know, and then when I started my LP, like, I really am obsessed with my LP. I really like it. I have a lot of fun when I record it. And I've got, uh, gained some more followers, you know, who seem to like uh, my LP as well. But I know there's a lot of people who subbed to my channel in the beginning who were there just for my builds because that's what I had. And therefore, that's what I was doing. So I went on ahead and, of course, I started building. So last night at work... Um, I went on ahead and I opened up my game and I was like, okay, I'm going to build something. I don't know what it is, but I'm going to do it. And I ended up choosing to do a Tudor house off in uh, Windenburg. Because Windenburg, hands down, is one of my favorite um, neighborhoods that we got with The Sims 4. I feel like there's not a lot of like houses that are built there for whatever reason. Like, And I'm you know guilty of that too. Because typically when I build houses, I'm usually in Newcrest just because it's blank. So I feel like I can put whatever house I want to. I don't have to make it match to anything. But, um, you know, whatever. So I decided to use Windenburg. And the style of house I chose is Tudor because it is one of my favorites. And we saw when I was building the house earlier that um, I had to put a lot of those wooden beams there, which I feel like was kind of a mistake now that I think about it. I feel like I put too many, but this is the first time I actually tried to put wooden beams in my house builds. So, I mean, you live and you learn. Next time I make a Tudor house or any house that I want to have beams in, I won't go so crazy with it. Because, <laughs> like, some rooms came out really nice with it because they were, like, long and straight, and then some houses ended up coming out or some houses, ah, uh, some rooms ended up coming out, like, slightly, like, I guess the rails weren't pulled across all the way correctly, because I kept deleting, um, rails here and there, because, like, I, like, you'll see it, like, when I'm furnishing, it's, <laughs> they're gonna be in the way, basically, and I feel like, like, I feel bad now, because as I'm decorating this house, it's, you know, it's kind of hard to see what I'm doing, because the rails are in the way. And I'm like, you know what? I really did not think this through. Like, I really didn't. And uh, <laughs> and I am really sorry um, about that. Like, I really am. Uh, like I said, this was a learning experience for me. Now I know next time when I build a house and I want to put beams in the rooms, I'm going to do it sparingly. And there's not going to be as many and blah, blah, blah. Anyhow, so the lot that I chose was one of the larger lots in Windenburg. I chose the 40 by 30 and it was a mistake <laughs> just because I'm one of those people like when there's a lot of empty space I feel like I have to fill it with something like I can't just leave it there. Now if you look at my channel or even on my Tumblr or um, the gallery you'll notice that most of the houses I build are either going to be on the 20 by 30 lot or they're going to be like the smaller lot which is I think it's 20 by 10 or what is it 20 by 15 or something like that. The smaller ones is what I go for because usually I build smaller houses like two bedrooms sometimes three bedrooms just depends this house as big as it is is three bedrooms but it's big like in the end I end up making a living room a study an office three bedrooms three bathrooms it, it's it's huge okay so 
I'm not someone who really does large bills because I get burnt out and I'm not gonna lie I got kind of burnt out on this that and I was trying to do this as quick as possible because like I said I was at work I do record my builds and whatnot at home too it's just it's harder to do I usually have to do it in the middle of the night because you know I am a mother and my son likes to you know be where I am do what I'm doing so like if I'm trying to build you know he wants to try to build too and which is fine because you know I love spending time with him and us doing things together but his attention span is that of a gnat basically so like he'll help me start building a house and then he'll be like mom let's play something else like you know let's play left for dead or you know let's uh I want to play a fighting game or like you know like he's not going to sit there and just watch me just build a house for the sims like <laughs> He doesn't really understand The Sims, and which is fine. I mean, he's six, so, and he's a boy, so you know he wants to play like stuff that Daddy likes to play, like basketball, you know, football. My husband's really huge into Madden and NBA 2K. Like he'll want to play something like that. Not so much of uh, my what do you call my computer Barbies, which my husband likes to say all the time. So you know, so usually I'll start building and then I'll have to stop, and then what happens is is I forget about the build. And it sits on my computer for like weeks at a time. And then eventually I'll like, huh, what is this? And I'll open it up and then I'll be like, oh yeah, this is the build that me and Junior were trying to do. And then I'm like, eh. And then I'll kind of delete it and then it'll go away. <clears throat> so yeah. Anyways, so I'm over here rambling as always. So as you can see here, I'm doing some landscaping. Now the landscaping here was kind of... To me, I feel like it was a little extreme. I feel like it doesn't work too well. Like, okay. In the end result, I feel like it's okay. Like, it's mediocre at best, but I feel like it's really not my best work. Because, like I said, it was a lot of space that was left behind, and I'm like, well, I need to put stuff here. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll put benches so they can sit outside. Which, I can't remember if it rains a lot in Windenburg or not. Like, I know it rains a lot in Willow Creek, because I have a few houses that, you know, or a few families that I'm playing in that neighborhood. And I don't know if it's just my game, but it storms a lot especially in spring it's like always raining so I'm like okay well no one's ever going to be outside just FYI because the weather is so bad here I'm not really sure how it is in Windenburg because I know it's probably sad to say considering I just said it's one of my favorite worlds since seasons came out I haven't really played in Windenburg all that much like exclusively like I do send my sims everywhere to all the neighborhoods to go hang out except Sulani like I try to keep Sulani like a vacation spot just because I feel like it should be that way but at the same time I am happy that I can live there if I want to it's just most of the sims I create aren't someone who really care for the island life I mean I am doing like a playthrough of island living on my own of course and I do have a sim that I created or she was already created in the game if y'all remember jade off of twitter yeah she is living there right now and i went on ahead and i downloaded the fireman because <laughs> i mean hello he was like so handsome and they actually hit it off really well i was quite surprised and they're expecting their first baby which i am so excited to see oh my gosh like y'all don't even know but i haven't actually played them in some time because I've been doing other things which is another reason why I haven't been uploading any builds I've been playing The Sims 3 like it's going out of style and I'm not even kidding you guys like I used to play Sims 3 a lot before Sims 4 came out and when Sims 4 also first came out because the game was so incomplete like I couldn't handle it like they didn't have toddlers so I'm just sitting there like okay there's no toddlers the kids just pop out out the bassinet as adults this is weird as adults I mean as children oh my god I'm like this is weird I can't do it there's no ghost there's no pool there's no there is just lots of things wrong with it so I, I couldn't stand it for the longest time so I didn't play it so yes yeah, so I was always doing Sims 3 so recently I've been getting back into Sims 3 a lot and I'm almost getting to the point almost that I want to do a Sims 3 LP like I really do the thing is though when I started my channel it was obviously for Sims 4 stuff it wasn't for Sims 3 I don't really know if you guys care about Sims 3 or not I know in the end everyone says it's your channel you do what you want but the thing is though I mean I have a like I have a growing follow thing going on here I mean shout out to all of you I finally hit 90 subscribers or like I'm I think I'm over like 91 subscribers or something like that and that's amazing I didn't think there were 90 people who wanted to listen to me ramble or watch my bills or look at my LP and there's a cat in my room making noise 
Can y'all not? Hey. Sorry. See, every time. So if it's not my kid asking me a hundred questions as to what I'm doing, it's the dog chasing the cat in the room. Oh. Anyway, so now, as I was saying, I do, like I said, I do want to do a Sims 3 LP. I am really, really thinking about it, but I'm not all too sure if I'm going to do it or not. Just because, like I said, when I started this channel, it was about Sims 4 content. You know, it was about my builds. It's about my LP. Obviously, I've done some cast videos, but it's still Sims 4. I mean, I don't know. I might give it a try anyway, because, like I said, I've really been enjoying when it comes to playing The Sims 3. Building in The Sims 3, however, is something else entirely. <laughs> I feel like I've gotten a lot better. Like I built my family's home uh, the other day and it wasn't, a, it wasn't awful, I'll tell you that. Like I almost wanted to take a picture of it and cry tears of joy because I thought it was great. So <laughs> there's that. But eh, I mean, you know, whatever. Well, we'll see what happens. So as you can tell, I went on ahead and finished the backyard. I didn't really do all that much. I just added a bunch of greenery and stuff and, you know, kind of made pathways and blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, it looks decent. I put a pole back there. I'm not sure how often it'll be used if I even play this house. It's just that in the sense for my Sims don't really play outside. They are usually inside because the weather's bad. A lot of the time or at least it's, like I said maybe it's just me in my game and my weather's just always bad but like my sims aren't really out there and I guess there's not really many activities for them to do outside like in the sims 3 when I was playing it like the father went and like because I put like a soccer ball and a football outside he actually went and called out his son and they were playing catch in the backyard and I was awing for like 20 minutes it was ridiculous like <laughs> Like, it's just, The Sims 3 is just, I don't know, it just has so much more to offer. And I feel that The Sims 4 will catch up one day, I hope. I'm just, I'm not sure, basically. Because I'm not really sure what they're trying to aim for. Like, I know I read on Twitter that they say that 2020 is going to be the biggest year for The Sims 4. And, I mean, I'm hopeful, but I'm also skeptical. So I'm just like, eh, I guess we'll just see what happens. Eh, whatever. But anyway, so let me actually talk about this build. Um, as you can see, we went on ahead, and that is the living room that we're furnishing right now. Um, I tried to keep the house mostly to, like, an older style because it is a Tudor home. Um, I was looking through, I want to say, like, hundreds of pictures on Google of, like, Tudor style, like, interiors, basically, because I wasn't too sure. Like, I've never been inside a Tudor home, so I didn't know what I was looking at. And, um... So I was looking at that for a good, excuse me, like a good, I'm going to say like 20 minutes, 20, 30 minutes. And then I was like, eh, I like this, I like that. Okay, this looks cool. Oh, I can see that. So yeah, so basically that's what I got my inspiration from. I saw a bunch of houses for a good amount of time and what they look like inside. And I was like, okay, well, the Sins 4 has some things that look like this, so maybe I can make it work. So obviously there is a lot of stone, there is a lot of wood, there are a lot of browns which I am a huge fan of. I like browns, I like stone, and I think it came out really well. Out of all the rooms that I did, I feel like the kitchen is my favorite, but that tends to happen more often than not. For whatever reason, I tend to, I guess I take a lot of pride in my kitchens. They look pretty good most of the time. I've had a few builds, I'm sure, where the kitchen was kind of like eh. And I also give myself props that I remember to put a sink in the kitchen, just because, I, <laughs> well, my friends know about this because they see me play like when I stream and stuff that I usually forget to put a sink in the kitchen just because even if I have a sink in the kitchen, most of the time my sims go to the bathroom to wash their dishes. I'm not sure if that's a bug or that's just something that happens on the sims 4. I mean, I don't know if it's just me. I mean, maybe you guys can relate. If you do, let me know. <laughs> but so, yes, yeah, so I usually don't put a sink in the kitchen for that reason, but for my bills that I, you know, that I'm uploading on YouTube, I'm trying to make them, I guess, as, like, normal as they should be, and obviously in real life, I don't wash my dishes in the bathroom, I wash them in the kitchen. Anyhow, so, okay, so we moved on from the dining room slash kitchen, which I feel is a decent size, and I hope I put enough chairs there. So this room here, I would consider it, like, a study of some sorts. I ended up putting a chess table, a chair, uh, there's another fireplace there, as well as another bookshelf. There are a lot of bookshelves in this house. I am, um, now that I think about it, and I mentioned this earlier to my group chat on Twitter, that I forgot to put a TV in this house. So there is no TV at all of course you know 
I'm pretty sure when people download my houses, they change things, whatever, different this, different that. So, again, if you do download this house, which you, if you do, it'll be on the gallery, because, you know, that's what I do, I always put my builds on the gallery, they, um, there's not going to be a TV in the house, so hopefully your sim is a bookworm or something of that nature, so that they'll be able to have some fun in the house. To be honest, when I play this house, if I ever do, I'll probably end up putting, um, a TV in there just because like I said the weather's usually bad for my sims they don't really go outside all that often so if they're gonna be inside at least have a TV or something fun to do just in case reading isn't enough but then again sims as far as I know don't really complain much if they don't have a TV so I guess it's fine anyhow so we're over here on the bedroom uh, this here is a system master bedroom so you have to think this through again I believe, yes, this would be considered the master bedroom. That's the one that I picked. Um, the other rooms I end up doing is for children, a toddler, and I guess the other one would be like a teenager's room, I want to say. I can't remember now. And I watched this video like, well, hello, I also built it. So I'm like, I watched this video earlier to be prepared for this moment but once again I'm not prepared and y'all should know better by now so don't be hating um also if you can see real quick I did download some houses from uh not houses hello I downloaded some paintings from the gallery because I've also realized that people post a lot of different kinds of paintings on there and there goes my kid and the dog oh at least he called the dog over um yeah, I did download a couple of paintings. I felt like they would match this house just because I didn't want to use the same paintings over and over again. For this build, like most paintings that fit this house were like the simple, what do you call it? Like portraits that had like a lot of browns or tans or whatever I tried to fit in there. Like for the kids' rooms, it was kind of generic looking. I didn't put too much clutter. In one of the children's rooms I did, I put like, like right now, you can see that I, you know, I put a teddy bear up on the dresser and I put a couple of their toys there. So I thought that was cute and that looked nice, you know, because this room here is for a child and a toddler. So I wanted there to be a little bit more toys. I probably should have put more toddler toys, but I didn't think about it. And then for this room here that we're about to start, I believe this is the one I made for the teenager. Or yeah, or like, uh, I mean, I guess children too. It doesn't have to be a teenager for older kids. Because I felt like when I made this house, I made the rooms a little big. And I don't know if it's just me, but when I play The Sims, they literally, the only thing they do in their room is sleep like they don't really do anything else but I went on ahead yeah okay yeah so this one I made for children or a teen probably both like one of each basically because um, I did put a toy box you see I put a desk there for them to do their homework and I did put a dollhouse or a castle basically I thought the castle matched the room pretty well um, so they would have something to play with just because I didn't make a playroom. Typically when I make family builds, I do try to make a playroom, but this time around I didn't. So yeah, so I went on ahead and made obviously a master room, a master bedroom, made a room for a toddler, a child, and then another room for either teens or a child and a teen or just children in general. So hopefully that is good enough for whoever wants to download this house and use it as a family house that it has everything that they need besides the TV. <laughs> Because, sorry, I don't know why I didn't put a TV. But there are obviously is a computer, so it's not like there's no electronics. Anyway, so I feel like I rambled on long enough. The video is about to end. I'm about to show you guys some screenshots so y'all can check out and see better pictures of what is going on and whatnot. So like always guys, if you like the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, comment if you have something to say, and if you haven't already, go on ahead and hit that big old subscribe button so you never miss a video, and I'll talk to you guys next time, alright? Bye!